Hey, what up guys? My name is Chris. This is Wheelhouse Trading and welcome to the Wheelhouse. I hope everybody's doing good. I know it's a little crazy out there. I want to show you something. We're working on a lot of things over here at the Wheelhouse. I've been showing you I'm getting 94, 95, 96% win rates, big profit factors. Trading's not the problem. We're trading, we're making money. It's the HODL that's the problem. You got a lot of problems out there. One that's freaking me out right now is the liquidity. And I made a video yesterday called the Mississippi Bubble. You guys should watch it. It's a short video. It's a story about a succession crisis, uh, a unification of the French and Spanish empires, a war with the British, uh, Netherlands and Austria that declared war on them, and uh, you know how the Bank of England started and how the bond market started, how a French finance minister... Um, screwed over his people and how um, this one gentleman created multiple companies after creating the Bank of England he created multiple companies which uh, were trading companies pertaining to um, the tobacco trade and the African slave trade and he uh, basically had a monopoly on the colonial trade with France and then got his hands in to the government with France and started minting money took his companies public and did a huge pump and dump scandal. You guys should watch that video. I made that video on purpose. You know, I had a I had a reason why. Not only did I want to teach you a little history, but you know, look what happened. Liz Trust, the day I put the video out in England, everybody's freaked out. Look at the bond market. Look at the liquidity crisis. Look at all the stuff going on. There's a reason why I wanted to kind of put that in perspective for you. It's a short video. You should watch it. Now, <clears throat> The HODL, it's all over the place. I wasn't going to trade uh, today, which is Thursday. So I slept in a little bit, wasn't even going to worry about it. And uh, I was going to work on um, going through some of the beta testing and coding on some of the stuff that we're working on behind the scenes that we haven't really shown you guys. Um, haven't even shown everybody in the group. And I'm still going through it slowly, one at a time. I'm very methodical. I don't want to really teach people... Um, unless it's very useful and powerful and going to excel their experience and journey in trading. We are looking to, you know, help people not just, you know, scalp, but be very good at scalping, be very good at day trading, be very good at swing trading, be very good at position trading, and be very good at investing. And we're building out our system. And I basically have a partner now. Um, I could only take it so far. You know, I had a vision. I, I knew what I wanted. I was a good trader. I was we started a YouTube I met this guy, he's brilliant, he's genius, brilliant at coding, and he's helping taking my vision um, and getting it on the chart, and now I'm just kind of going through it, making you know, making sure, you know, doing a little OSHA quality control, making sure I like it, see if there's some different tweaks, but I just want to show you some stuff. Um, so I have Bitcoin pulled up, and I just want to show you, um, while I'm while I'm pulling it up on the daily, hit that like button for me. Smash that sucker in, okay? And subscribe if you haven't. All right, so look, this is the Bitcoin chart. <clears throat> All right, I don't have a, too much on the chart right now because I don't want to overly confuse you, but I did put these blue diamonds and these pink diamonds on here. Now, <laughs> we're into some sick stuff over here at the wheelhouse. Come in the Discord. It's free. You can talk to me. You can talk to the moderators. There's all kinds of traders in there. There's cool people in there. They're trading. There's um, there's brilliant people in there. Doctors, scientists. This guy's doing AI GPU architecture on AI art. There's NFT guys. There's, there's really cool people in there. Come in. Let's trade. Let's hang out. Let's grow. Let's learn. But check this out. I just kept it minimal because I don't want to overwhelm anybody right now. I made these diamonds blue. I made these diamonds pink. Okay. Normally what I do is I teach you to identify when you see the green triangle, you have the doji, this goes blue, your five and nine crosses, which makes the cloud. At the same time, you're looking for this to hit a green dot low, the wave to go over the baseline at the same time, this one to cross the blue going up, this one to be low, low in the channel with the blue going up, and the, the oscillator to be above, not below, like over here. Okay, and what happens? Boom, you rally. And then if you want to trend trade through the oscillations, you can stay in while this is green. And then if this goes pink, the very next time this goes red, you have to get out. You would have sold at 65,408, and then you'd follow this down, and then you default here, and then when you go under the 200, you just stay in default 
over here uh, under the 200 and you, you can short the whole thing, okay? Um, you can you can swing it as well. You can kind of close your short and swing it up and you can, you know, depends how crafty and much you want to do, but everything will show you. When you get your red dot here, you know you're pretty much coming down. Well, if you notice my red dot and my crosses and the volume coming down and you notice everything and you get the, you get the red triangle right there. I don't know if you can see it, okay? So just like I showed you uh, over over here to buy it when everything crossed. Here's an example of where everything crosses to close it. Well, see the pink diamond? Guess what we figured out? <laughs> that blue diamond down here and that pink diamond up here is institutional liquidity block buying. You ever hear of with liquidity wicks and book maps and you know order books and order blocks and and you know the, the these shakeouts and buy zones and so we've, we've been working on identifying it now <laughs> this is quite remarkable so so as an example um notice how just about every single time you come to a top that top wick there's a pink diamond okay that's them selling okay that's them selling. And what they'll do is they'll pump it up here. They'll take their profit and they'll sell. And a lot of times what they'll do is they'll push it all the way down in a short, get you to panic sell. And then right here, they'll, they'll close their short right here, take their profit. And then they'll have their buy, you know, their buy to rebuy everything and push it right back up and shake you out. This shows you what they're doing. Now check this out. See this white one? This is something that uh, my, my buddy put in here. It's called a fat finger is what we call it. And it's a bottom finder. It's super accurate. This is Bitcoin. Look at this wick. It called it on that wick. Look at this at seven. Look at this literally at 17.6. It called it. And it calls it in real time. They call it like a day later. It calls it in real time. This is what I want to show you. And I don't want to get too, too crazy. I'll show you a little bit about what we're working on here. But I'm not going to get too, too crazy with you. Um... Okay, this is what I want to show you. Now, if you know about like the liquidity zones and order blocks, kind of like a VPVR type of thing, um, or like a book map, was over here, I have it very opaque. This is this red box right here. This is a bearish like sales block, okay? And what happens after this? It dumps, okay? And then here's another one. And what happens after that? It dumps. And here's another one and it dumps. And here's another one and it dumps. And we have not seen a bullish one for a long time. Now, a lot of influencers, including myself and a lot of other people, you know, a lot of great channels are out there, you know, showing Glassnode that people are buying Bitcoin, large amounts of Bitcoin, moving it to cold storage or holding it. I'm, you know, on my channel showing you, hey, we got to support. We're holding it. Yeah, we're going sideways, but we're holding the line. That's positive. Well, look, this right here being blue is the first time in like a year, essentially, where institutional buying and large, large money is buying right in this zone, calling the bottom. Now, I checked it out on Ethereum. It's a little lower. Okay, on Ethereum, it's down... You know, they bought it where I bought it. I bought it a thousand, and uh, I bought a few more ups, up since then. But <clears throat> on Ethereum, see the little, see the little white, white arrow right there, white arrow right there. It called the bottom. Our fat finger called the bottom. And look at the, look at the buy zone for the first time on Ethereum. Now, people are up if they bought here and it's come down, but they're still above that buy zone. So that's really positive. So I just wanted to show you that now. Let's just go back to Bitcoin and just show you something here. I'm not going to make it a long video. I wasn't even going to make a video, but I kind of just want to show you some of this stuff just real quick. Um, okay, so let's say, let's say you're new to trading and you're watching this and you're like interested and you're still watching it, but you're like, dude, this dude's out of control. It's advanced. I'm a little low on money. I can't really subscribe. That's fine. Just come in the Discord for free. I don't even care. I don't even need your money. Just come in. Let's just grow. Let's just learn. When you're ready, you'll be ready. Trust me. And you'll start making money. But at least let's teach you right now. Uh, and let's start there. So let's just say you're new to trading 
And, you know, I like to, I like to do all my little pivots and my yellow supports and resistances. And I like to do all that stuff myself. I'll just put them back on the, the line here in a little bit. I'll just do it. Um, so I like to do that myself. But we have now created uh, something for you guys where you could just simply come in here and click resistance and support in your settings. And what it's going to do on any time frame it is basically going to go and it's going to show you the pivot highs and it's going to show you where those institutional guys are selling right at the top of the wigs. It matches up when the HMA goes red. You know, it says get out. OK, and I'm going to teach you guys about some false signals and how you want to identify three things on the top and three things on the bottom. And when you get them all to sync, it's go time in or out, long or short. OK, so I'm just not ready to teach you because it's quite complex and I'm trying to figure a way to te teach it to you. Um, but follow along. Um, so if you're a little intimidated to trade, and I think a lot of people are because I, I have friends and we went to sushi and we came back to my house and. I let them watch my videos and they're like, yeah, dude, I, I just don't have money right now. Like, I think your videos are cool. Like, I just don't have money to trade and, you know, and, and that's, that's cool. That's normal. A lot of people don't have money. So that, that makes sense to me. He's like, also, it's a little advanced. Like, I try to follow along, but, you know, in the end, um, I might need to watch some other, you know, more like beginner type channels. And that makes sense too. I, I, you know, I've been doing this a long time. It's a little more advanced on my channel, I'm sure. I try to kind of go through news in a gentle way and you know help you understand different things like when I was explaining the bubble triangle uh, what ignites a bubble yesterday to the Mississippi bubble and I was trying to explain you know things that are pertaining to right now like bonds and liquidity and you know really important things that take place in the market I would recommend as a suggestion you know maybe keep an eye on you know the ISM charts and um, you know the bond market and some things like that right now um, and, you know, keep an eye on those treasury yields and these rates and what the Fed's going to do because uh, we're at we're at peak fear. And, you know, one of the things I just I just was talking to somebody uh, in my group. He's a prop trader and, you know, he's thinking about starting a hedge fund. We've been talking a lot. And, um, you know, we, we were just chatting last night and I was like, man, I'm making these videos. And I'm like, I swear it looks like we're like at a bottoming area and like. Usually when there's so much fear on TV and everybody's just fearful, 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 it's when you should be swooping up some shares for the long hold. I'm not talking about, you know, I'm talking about the long hold. I'm talking about investing, okay? So, and, and you can see like on Ethereum and Bitcoin, you know, long hold institutional buyers are buying down here. And they're willing, they have conviction, and if it goes lower, they'll, they'll buy more and we'll probably see another order block. Um, but... <clears throat> You know, when you start seeing everybody go to a long trade in uh, oil and you see everybody going in a long trade in the dollar and then starting to leave their long trade in oil and actually move to the short side, it's a big indication, okay? When they start to take the dollar, the long side, and start moving it to the short side, it's a big indication, okay? We're coming into a recession. People are getting ready to short the dollar, short oil, and we're looking at a bottoming process at the same time on a lot of things. And institutional buyers are coming in and accumulating for the long time horizon, despite what you hear on TV and everybody's fear. That's, you know, you got to stick to your guns. I'm talking investing, not trading. Okay. So I can walk you through some charts and I can show you that. But just before I do, I just want to show you this thing. Let's say you're new to trading. We, we have it in here where you have, you know, your pink line. It'll basically, it'll bring in all the pivot highs and the tops and the lows. And, you know, and if you were to, let's say you wanted to be on the five minute as an example. Well, you know, it'll do that too. It'll help you so you can take profits on the short and long side in the ranges. And we have all that built in for you um, just to kind of give you an idea. We also have multi time frames. So if you're doing fast trading, you actually don't have to go look at, what's going on on the four hour, one hour, 30 minute, we can get all the settings for, for like this blue and red one. We can, and the directions, the trends, we can get all the settings from all the time frames just on the five minute where you're trading. So you don't, you can be like ultra fast. We're traders. Okay. We, we trade, we're like nasty with this. So we, we're about efficiency and knowing everything, everything. But I just want to show you a couple things that, uh, we could, uh, do here. 
you know, let's say you're a little bit um, new and um, you don't know, you know, a reversal doji. So we could put it on there where there's dojis. You know, let's go to the daily maybe so there's not so many of them. <clears throat> we got inverse hammers. We got hammers, you know, so we, we can put that stuff on there for you. Um, you know, I showed you the supports. I showed you the blocks. I showed you the, the book map. Um, we also have a uh, estimator, which like I use this one for trend, but we have one that doesn't repaint and with a lower bandwidth, which is great for swing trading. Um, and then we're doing that. We also have access to the dark pool of movements on every single ticker every single day. And you could see it um, in the pre-market. And we also have a directional um, indicator that predicts the trend for the entire day. And we found out that there's like two times in the morning that the decision will be made and it has to do with the dark pool. So, you know, we're going to show you that stuff too. It's pretty sick. Um, so check this out. We, we got this uh, polynomial uh, LMSA, and which is, which is sick. And as you can see, you know, we have like these green dots that follow it up. And then when it goes purple, you know, that's a, that's a way to sell. You also got your diamond. You also got your, your triangle. You went purple here. You got your first purple candle. You're getting a lot of signals. The LMSA is probably a little more for tight trading um, instead of like, you know, like kind of seeing where it goes because um, it might get you out a little early. I showed you the bottom finder. Um, you know, we can look at inverted and, and regular hammers. So we got uh, inverted hammers and we got regular hammers over here. So you can put all that stuff on until you get used to understanding, um, you know, some of these, some of these things. If you want to look at the five to nine strategy, we built it right in. We're actually going to adjust it just a little bit, but it'll basically tell you, um, see, it put an L right here to go long and it told you an S right there to sell or go short. And you know, if you get it with the pink diamond and this is red and you see an S, you can go short. So we put that in there for you just to make things easy because I have multiple screens and not everybody might have that luxury. So we have that. We're making some adjustments. We're on, well, the folder is version 41, um, even though we haven't even shown you guys yet. I don't know how deep the actual versions are yet. But um, yeah, we have VWAPs built in here. We have, um, you know, false breakouts, new breakouts, um, signal smoothing, we set to aggressive. We have, you know, our bottom finders, CCIs, you know, we can change the colors. Um, we have a way to scan the bottoms. We have our LMSA, we have our, our uh, estimator, you know, our, you know, these are colors. Order block labels and retracements. I showed you that with the diamonds. Real cool, right? Um, you know, we have internal structures for bullish and bearish that we can put on there with a confluence filter which will get rid of anything that's not like necessary like so we can actually identify breakouts that hold and it will it won't put it on the chart unless it holds and it becomes you know a real breakout um a lot of people want to look at swing trading and a lot of people uh want to look at the book maps and stuff so we can come over here and we can I might have to click uh, one other thing to make this pop up, but uh, I'm almost positive I do. Give me one second. So, like, let's say you're a swing trader and you want to know the zones. Uh, I think you got to do it like this. Yeah. Okay. So, like, these blue lines, when you see, like, these blue lines, these are little zones that it identifies for you. Um, and then obviously the red is bearish institutional selling and bullish institutional buying. If you pull it back to the five minute or the one hour, you're going to be looking pretty good on that stuff for swing traders. So we're, we're looking out for you. We're, we're trying to, you know, um, let's just go take a look at that real quick. Just out of curiosity, let's go to the five minute and just see what kind of pulls up here for us. Um, I'm still in beta. I'm still going through it. I'm going to be very, very thorough. Um, I, I probably shouldn't even be showing you guys this stuff yet, but yeah, here you go. This is for like swing traders and like zones, like so to show you the range, you know, you should be like buying in here and you know, I have it very opaque, but right there's the red one and I can change it so it's more bright like up here, 
But yeah, it's basically saying you would buy, you know, this is where all the buying is going on. It's got a blue one behind it, blue one here, your HMA, you get in your triangles, everything goes up, you're seeing a sell here. And, and right when you see these arrows and that goes red, there's actually a red box right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's very light, but it's in there. Okay. So we have that. And these ranges right here are swing ranges. So we're building that in. Um, and we also have it where you can see. So the way that we set it up is um, with these boxes is it goes in a, in a future time frame. So we're on a five minute right here. But this box right here, it started at 1700 and it ended at 17 uh, or 1650. So this is five minute, but this is a 10 minute block. So when you go to the 30 minute, okay, it'll do an hour block, okay? It should, let me make sure it's working. Give it a second to load, there's a lot of stuff in there. Okay. So here we go, um, 17 and 16.30. So no, this is actually 30, 30 minutes here, which is, which is good, I, which is actually what you really want. Um, so if we want to go be on a 30 minute and have it go 30 for 30, then why is the five showing a 10 minute? Or did I misread that? Let me see. So 1655, 1655 to 17. No, I, I made a mistake. This is, you're on the five minute. This is a five minute purple box. That's how you really want it actually. Um, now, when you see that it goes blue, blue boxes, that means that it's been in an uptrend and that's kind of cool to look at. And I want to show you later in the week when, if we, you know, we get a bullish move, I want to show you, if you notice right here, you had one week, two week, three week, four week, five week, six week, even this one that came down was still a blue box because it had that huge spiking candle. Okay. Then it went purple for three weeks and then blue. So right now, we are in, you know, we're having one, two, three, four down weeks, right? And we'll see if we get another one or we get blue. But that kind of is something that just kind of shows you, um, you can identify. And then I don't want to get too deep into everything right now. But um, we have this thing that I will be showing you after I go through some beta on it. And... It basically works with the dark pool and it basically, you can kind of see um, the direction of the trend, uh, especially on that ticker, that sector, the however you want to read it. And um, you can see all the buying before it hits the market uh, of exactly what's going on. And uh, it kind of gives you like preemptive, like Intel, <laughs> if you will. So yeah, we're working on some cool stuff. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get it figured out where, you know, you can click it on, click it off, depending on what you want to use. I don't need to use everything all the time. If I put everything on there, it would be just chaotic. It would be so chaotic. But, you know, um, you don't have to do that. You just have the option where you can put things on and you can take things off. So I wanted to show you the book map. People are buying. And now that I don't have any supports and resistances, might as well just come on over here and just go ahead and put it on. So I can just keep an eye. And even though my yellow ones aren't on there, if you notice, they're not yellow, but they still call it and they move in real time as the chart data moves. So super sick for trading. Let's just look at it on a one minute. So you can just see like if you're a trader, you would just want to, you know, range take profits and or your head doing hedging strategies or whatnot. This would have been a better one. It identified it here and then you'd have to take profit right under it. Or again, this is a good one. This is also a good one, but you got to have your take profit lower. And honestly, I always do that. I usually put it down here, like on the, the like where there's a grouping of wicks or I never, I usually don't put it up at the top because they don't get hit all the time. So <clears throat> yeah, that's on there for you, which is super cool. And um, we have, we have a whole bunch of other stuff we have down here. We're working on a whole bunch of other stuff up here. We're working on. And, you know, as far as Bitcoin, you know, just know that there's a lot of buying going on in the sideways area. And it did just hit a green, 
dot and three green arrows which is interesting everything does say it's gonna that it's kind of it's just it's hard every day one day it's going up the next it's going down i can't really say because it's just going sideways essentially but what i can tell you is that institutional large money is buying and i can tell you that for sure and i can tell you where that happened okay so this is like bitcoin Again, for a year, we haven't had a bullish institutional whale style buy and hold. And this is like the book map and, you know, of whales and order, you know, major order blocks in a bullish favor. It's right here in this sideways zone. Okay. That's positive. Let me just walk you through something real quick on, uh, we'll look at it together. Uh, let's look at the Dow. Okay. Uh, I'll give you some positivity. Did I not click the Dow? I thought I clicked the Dow. Okay, here's the Dow. All right. So, the Dow uh, was supposed to double bottom on this blue line, but it came down a little further. And I feel like I'm missing. Why am I missing? Oh, oh. Oh, let me show you something. Oh, I just realized something. I gotta show you something. Oh, these guys, man. We're gonna we're gonna win. We're not gonna be taking advantage of. Let me show you something here. Uh, let me take out the supports. I don't want all that on there right now for myself. But that that's great for you know small time frame trading or new traders. Okay, look at this. Remember I was explaining the pink diamond and the blue diamond, and I always talk about pivots. There's a pivot. There's a pink diamond. Okay, there's a, a pivot, there's a pink diamond, there's a pivot, there's a blue diamond. And remember, the blue and pink diamonds are where institutional whales are buying and selling. Basically, like, you know, moving shares and manipulating market, if I can say that. I don't know if I can say that, you know, confirmation, but let's just say that's what it looks like. And, you know, there, there's the pink diamond, there's the sell, okay? There's the blue one. There's the pink one, there's the blue one, there's the pink one, there's the blue one, there's the pink one, there's the blue one, there's the pink one, there's a blue one, there's a pink one, there's the blue one. I already had all the pivots drawn in. You see what I'm trying to get at on this channel? I'm trying to show you. Okay, now check this out. We go long here, we pivot, we go short. We go long, we go short. We go long, we stay long because this is blue. It has not been easy, it hasn't been easy for me. It's been hard, but look. This is real time. This isn't like EMA. This is, I'm not going to tell you what it is quite yet, but you know, our, our stuff is like predictive and this is actually going over the line. Okay. This is not cross and your wave trend is above the baseline. It's being hammered down, but yet still showing it's going to go up. Have faith, have faith. Okay. Because remember when this goes blue and curls, what happens? It goes blue and curls and then launches. Okay, that's what happens. It goes blue and curls and then launches. It goes blue and curls and launches. It goes blue and curls and launches. And right now it's going blue and curls. So even though there's all this choppiness, there's still a lot of signs. There's every single sign on my chart except for like overall major trend, like primary trend, 200, ribbon, and the estimator. Yeah, long trend, not good. I'm just talking about a bullish pivot. I'm not talking about going to a bull run or a trend reversal. I'm just talking about riding it to the long side. It says you can't hear, it says you can't hear. This one's getting a little sketchy. This one looks good. This looks good. Double bounces are good. And look, you didn't get a pink diamond, did you? You didn't get a pink diamond. You didn't get institutional sellers, but you did get institutional buyers. And you even got more institutional buyers here. What did I do? I started buying here. I bought more here and I bought more here where the institutions bought. And I didn't even have this on the chart, but I know how to go pivot to pivot. And that's what I've been trying to show you in the group, if you're watching from the group and YouTube, if you're not in the group. So yeah, that's kind of interesting. It still says to go up. You haven't got an institutional sell diamond and uh, you know, it still looks good. Now, so first, let's look at upstart, okay? I'll just show you three of them. All right, you got people going long on the dollar and now they're getting ready to short it. They're starting to get short interest. 
You have people going long energy and now they're just getting ready to short it and there's a lot of short interest. Okay, then you go back to a chart like Upstart on the daily and this yellow line is exactly where the price action is and it is also the IPO price. And it made uh, phase one, two, three, and four, a Carl's Jr. top star mountain. And you're basically grinding on, it's a bottoming process. And there's your blue diamond, institutions are buying, and there's your HMA and you're above the IPO price. That looks like the best price you could pretty much get on Upstart, okay? Moving along, let's show you one more. I'll show you one more after that. And you just kind of, you know, can take a look at what I'm saying. And if it makes sense to you, you know, maybe you can, you know, think about it and say, you know what, maybe that dude was right. You know, maybe that dude, you know, I did actually identify a sick time to be buying. This is Facebook. Facebook, they're talking bad in the news and there's reasons why, you know, if they, if he doesn't get that advertising story with Facebook right, right now, and you know, he's not going up against TikTok and it's all about the metaverse and you know, there's layoffs and people are leaving his companies and, you know, you saw the Snapchat earnings. I mean, it could be bad and they have an earnings coming. That's why I'm telling you that. But what I want to show you is this. This is Facebook. This is the 2018 bear market. Boom. The very bottom wick of the candle on Facebook of 2018. By the way, the COVID low is this line, which is even higher. Well, look where Facebook is. It's at the bottom of the 2018 bottom wick of the bear market. And right when it touched, look who bought the institutions. And guess what? This went blue. This is a zone if you want Facebook. I'll show you one more. I'll show you one more and then I will let you go. All right. I hope I'm making some sense for you. I'm only here to help you, guys. I'm only here to help you. You're watching my story. You're watching what I'm doing. Um, I've been a successful, you know, business owner and, you know, trader and, you know, successful at quite a few things. And um, I'm also a saver. I don't go, you know, waste all my money. I have fun. I don't just go like, you know, blow my dough. I, I, I know that, you know, being a trader, you, you might have a few bad months and stuff. So this is Square. Okay, Square got up to $289. You can buy it right now for $55. Okay, back here was uh, May of 2019. Support. Look at this. Support, support, support. This is way deep in the dip of COVID before the bull run. What happens? Boom, it comes right back down to this long, long, long old support. Let me just back it up so you can see how far back this goes. Look at this. Does this, and look, it goes further. Let's just make it longer so you can just see. Let's just make it longer. There. Look, top of a bull run, bear run. Breaks out of a base, comes down, bull run, 2018, hits it. Hits it. COVID comes down, goes up, hits it. Hits it, hits it, hits it, hits it. Do you think maybe that's an intelligent place to buy? And what happened? Institutions bought and this went blue. So I'm gonna leave it there. My name is Chris, this is Wheelhouse Trading. Just a little tasty morsel of what we got coming for you. Come on into the Discord, show me some love. Who loves you, baby? Welcome to the Wheelhouse.